Jesus Christ, what is all this? You told Remo to load up and be prepared, eh? We're not invading a country, Remo. Look, I don't want this thing going to bullets if we can avoid it. I want to give these guys a chance. Okay, the timers are going to be locked in at 40 seconds. Placements? The crates by the uh, office. I set a neutral position. Gentlemen. Last schedule. Too old for these late hours. You're not getting tired of the cash, are you? I think you fellas need a vacation. Coy, is that you? Surprised. What gives? Mr. Cordetti wants this operation shut down. For good. I approached you first. We offered you work. I deal in real estate, fireworks, personal security. I don't get kids strung out on drugs and make videos. Give me a break, Coy. Your real estate is insurance fraud. Fireworks are guns and personal security. It's what Mr. Cordetti is paying me for. That and some information. I need the name of your boss. Before I light up the night sky, just give me the name. You guys can walk out of here. No one has to die here tonight, fellas. I need a name. Lose the gun. Now the magic trigger. I drop this, everybody goes boom. <laughs> well, I heard that Corey had to gave you some uh, big coin. But I never thought that uh, you'd come after us. What, to burn down kitty porn? I should be paying Corey Eddie for this opportunity. So am I going to get a name? Are you nuts, Coy? Look at your situation. You should be worrying about yourself right now. I never really think that far ahead. Jimmy, 
guys. Derek. Derek, are you ready? All three, all right. Behind the crates, Jimmy. They're behind the crates near the office. You get that. Near the pillars, Jimmy. How many crates are wired? Four in total. But we need Remo's detonator. Remo, do you copy that? Guys, I got no, no communications link. Do you hear me? Come in, come in. Derek, I need to get closer to the crates. Copy that. Guys, we got 30 seconds. We got 30 seconds, Remo! Big John, Jimmy, Big John's getting away in his car. Remo! Do you got it? Do you copy? Now, Big John doesn't have a hope in hell. Come on, guys, we got 10 seconds! <laughs> Jesus Christ, this thing's gonna blow up. Let's get out of here. You arrange it, Leon? Jimmy Coy, Mr. Hellum. Get him another. Jimmy Coy. Never heard of him. I know. It's perfect. He does the job for us. Then when his body turns up, no one knows, no one cares. Hmm. How'd you find him? Cordetti has been bragging ever since Point Hope burned down. So, my sweet talked him out of a contact number. Is this Coy connected? Cordetti was a one-time deal. Coy's a street twerp. Tuesday night, Jefferson Park. I'll have the men waiting.
Jimmy? Jimmy? Yeah, Ma. What's this? Where did you get this? You know what I do, Ma. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you do. And that's why I want this money out of our home. Then who's going to pay these? Oh, don't you blame this on me. You know, your father never raised you like this. I know I certainly didn't. What do you want me to do, Ma? This house is all we have left. You think I like what I'm doing? Do you? What if the cops are going to haul me away or worse? If this money has been earned on someone else's misery, then I want it out of the house. Get rid of it. Sweetheart, I have never asked you for anything in my life. But will you please, please walk away from this life of yours? Wow, this baby's starting to shape up. How long you had this thing now? Ten years. You better start driving it soon or you'll be the classic. Ooh, harsh. What the hell are you gonna do with all this power? You need a woman, pal. So what did you want? For you, it's a bonus. Do I split this? Remo does just fine on his own. You sure about this? Just take it. Listen, I have another job. Need to meet this guy tonight. I'm not interested. It'd be a big score, man. Just meet the guy. What's his name? Arthur Halem. Need some insurance scam. Let's talk about this later. I gotta go visit Old Man Corner. You better stop messing around with Russ, man. He's gonna come after you if you keep stepping on his toes. The old man's under my protection. Do we need Remo? Just keep him on a short leash, all right? Come on. It's probably a better idea if you stay here with this stuff. All right. Just don't forget to get me something you know I want. Right. It's a beautiful day, old man. Nice sky. Clean air. Keeps a person healthy. You want to stay healthy, right? We need some products for resale. Honey, did you bring my credit card? No. It's OK. Jimmy Coy, didn't I warn you about this hero shit? Didn't I tell you not to come around here with your pets? Not here, man. Joe. This is not a retreat, Coy. I'm uh, regrouping.
you do any better? Uh, I don't know, you know. Music doesn't pay my bills. I want you to wait in the car when me and Derek meet these guys. What are you talking about? Derek watches my back from now on. You're too eager with the trigger. You understand what I'm saying, or should I write it in crayon? Guys, this is bullshit. Jimmy Coy, people tell me you're the best. Are you familiar with the Memorial Arena? It's in the Park View area. I guess you don't get to the money part of town much, do you? 5,000 now, another five when the job's done. You're crazy. I guess you don't get to the poor side of town much, do you? Now I gotta look at the arena before I take that job. I'll let you know. You got two days. Money. We need the score. I just want to check this Hallam character out first, that's all. Yeah. We're good. We're good. You make the call, man. Let's go. I thought you were going to be here at 7.30. I, uh, I had to help Mom with something. Get your ass in there and work with your protege. She looks like garbage. Check the exits and entrances. Yeah. Keep an eye out for security. Okay. Let's go. Christina, just take it easy, okay? Skate the program. Forget the extra jumps. You'll be fine. It'll be enough to pass. The program is perfect. Just follow the music, 
Stick to the choreography and only do your strong jumps, okay? They're gonna crucify me. Get out there. Jimmy, this place is a cakewalk. Yeah, there's no security, there's nothing. 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 We could do this tomorrow if we wanted to. I'm gonna wait in the car. Yeah. I'll be ready. You totally abandoned the program. What's with all the jumps? Name one world champion that couldn't jump. This isn't worlds, Christina. This is, this is a senior's test. Yeah, and I screwed it up again. Don't you? You sound like our father. Stepfather. I wish I had had half your talent, Christina. You have to learn to skate like yourself. Put your artistry on the ice, not your butt. Fries are cheesy in. Sure. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you first? Were you gonna order? Um, maybe. Maybe. Fries with cheese, Cassie. Thanks. Cassie. Yeah, Cassandra. Um, well, thanks for letting me go first. <laughs> yeah, I really hate to be rude, but I gotta get back to the ice. I'm coaching. Yeah, I saw one of your students having a bad day. Oh, are you a skating fan? My mom is. Uh, she makes me watch from time to time. Well, the, uh, the skater is my sister, and she was testing today. Bad timing for a lousy skate. It wasn't a lousy skate. Uh, how about non-outstanding? How about we stop right there? Right. Well, thanks again for letting me go first, but I really have to go. See ya. See ya. Jimmy, hey, we are taking this job, right? I guess. 
guess. You guess? What do you think, Remo? Hey, you know, I just want to make money. I'll just skate today. Never mind. I was there. You failed your test. No, you can't even compete this year. Don't you ever get tired of being a loser? Dad, she's not a loser. Sit down. I'm done throwing cash out the window. As of tomorrow, I'm putting my money to better use. Good. Stick it up your ass. Nice. I haven't finished with you. You better get some more skaters to coach. Because I'm getting tired of your little gravy wagon as well. You know I only coach Christina. Then I guess you're out of a job. I promised Hallam a champion last year. I said you'd give us one. Christina is finished. No, she's not. Look, I know her technique needs work. She has more artistic ability than anyone I've seen in years. If you want her to be an artist, get her to take up painting. I'll get out of my sight before I forget myself. My pleasure. Mad? Please. What do you think? Why is he such an asshole? Listen, you let me worry about him. Okay? Stella, you in there? You better go. Yes, Leon, I'm just checking on Cassie. All right. She's being punished. Get out. These girls have got to learn to respect. Time and money. Listen, I'll see. I said now. Uh, hey! Oh, hey, let go no. of her! Stop! Stop! Stop no. it! Stop. Let go of her! Leave her alone! No. Uh, you little! Uh, oh. Mom! 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 Call 911! Now! I'm gonna give you my share of the money on this job. What? This is my last job. Listen, my share plus yours would be enough to keep you going yeah, for a while. Jimmy, you just...
My fee is 20 grand. Done. When? During the regional skating gala in competition. Time? During one of those nights when the stands are full. I want a lot of mayhem. Full? A lot of people are gonna get hurt. <laughs> That's the idea. I can't do that. If I'm paying 20 grand, you'll follow my orders. Listen, let everybody go home. I'll make it perfect. Those are my orders. No way. I need casualties on this job. Did you give Corradetti this kind of grief when you torched Point Hope and killed all those men? Hey, that's ancient history, all right? Hey, you waste us here, gentlemen. The rest of our guys tip off the cops. You made a big mistake, Coy. I said I'll do the job, but no casualties. That's my last offer. Listen, Reno, I have my own reasons for not taking this gig. I know you're feeling like a fifth wheel right now. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Come on, I'm not even, not even in the loop. Hey, when push comes to shove, I want no one else in my corner, all right? But you're gonna have to trust me on this one. If she's been taken into a room, a doctor will see her soon. Excuse me. Hey, 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 bring hey. your doctor here, all right? This guy needs a doctor. Come on. Lady, don't make me be an asshole, please. Hey, Come on. slow down. What seems to be the problem here? You got hit by a car. Okay, what does it look down. like? Slow down. All right, I need you Do to something. Relax. Gangs. Those men, gang members, I'm sure. He's hurt. His leg. Do all right, something. Uh, Why would Jimmy Coy turn down $20,000? He's given me this nice guy routine, but I'm not buying it. Could you have found out that Point Hope was your operation? No way. Corradetti doesn't even know I'm his competition. Now, how would some little nickel and dimer? Look, why don't I just pay someone to kill Corradetti while he's driving home or something? That would start a war. People would start making inquiries. I've already had lunch with Corradetti twice. His wife is a big skating fan. They both agreed to come to the gala. We make the explosion look like an accident. Cordetti is dead. I eliminate my competition, and I get a hefty little insurance bonus. This Coy, he must have enemies. Find me some. Is there any news on Mrs. Diaz? Look, I told you, the doctor will be out shortly. Shortly? It's been three hours. Looks like it's my turn to cut in. Hey, do you believe this guy? Unbelievable. Uh, I, I saw you, you bring your friend in. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Just a hurt leg. Uh, what about you? Uh, it's my mom. How's she doing? Well, I don't know, because they won't tell me anything. What's your last name? Diaz. I'm Jimmy Coy. I want to find out about your mother. Hey! Hey! Yes? I'm trying to find out about Mrs. Diaz. How many times do I... I'm asking you, not her. Dr. 
Where's he going? To get the doctor. Wow. Yes, who brought Mrs. Diaz in? I, I did, I'm her daughter. Hi, I'm Dr. Gordon. Your mother has suffered a mild concussion and we're gonna keep her overnight. She's resting right now, you can go and see her at any time, okay? All right, thank you. What did you say to him? Please. Come on. Where's mom? She's okay. I, um, she's got a mild concussion and we're just gonna go see her now, okay? We'll see her. Yeah. You have to leave him, Mom. Just give him some time. No, he's getting worse. Look, we could make it on our own. We'd have nothing. We'd have each other. Look, I didn't want to tell you about this before because I wasn't sure he was coming, but I've arranged for Jeffrey London to watch the opening night gala. London from Ice Festivals? Yeah. Wow. If he likes you, you'll be on tour with the Ice Festivals. All the trimmings. What about you? Well, I'd be one of the trimmings. They're looking for choreographers as well, so I'd be going too. Mom, um, if we get picked up, I want you to come with us. Jimmy. Come on, man. I at least deserve an answer. I just need to check the place out, all right? Cassandra. Much longer. Um, why don't I, I meet you up in the cafeteria? See you. See you in a minute. Two thousand up front. Another two grand when the job is done. And here's an extra couple grand. You can take Jimmy Coy out in the process. I got a score to sell with Coy. These guys are armed. My men will get you whatever you want. Consider it done. with cheese. Oh, I hate French fries. But when I first met you, you were ordering French fries. Those were for my sister. Damn. <laughs> How's your mom doing? She's good. She's tough. What happened, anyway? She fell down the stairs at our house. That's too bad. Yeah. What does she do? 
Actually, she's a singer. She's a very good singer, actually. She, uh, she teaches now. We gotta get going, Jimmy. Good luck with everything. Thanks, and, um, good luck with whatever it is that you do. Yeah. The lady gets the flower. <laughs> Thank you. Jimmy. Do you want to... Do you want to grab lunch later? Yeah. Okay, how about I pick you up here at 2? That'd be great. So, so, is this why we didn't take the job? Over a chick. This table is occupied. Bring him on. Take it easy. I just want to talk. Uh -huh. Business talk. I could give you some work. I bet he works good. I know that you and Jimmy the boy are on the outs. How long is it gonna be before he leaves you, trashes you on a permanent basis? You know what? You're talking about a friend of mine. Remo, don't take offense. I do take offense. Hey, in his day, Jimmy Coy was a man. But his day is past. He's getting soft. What about Remo's day? Remo's day, Remo's day. Enjoy your fucking game. Princess. Going to the ball? <laughs> Isn't your uh, your pimp waiting for you? Hey! Well, I guess that's my cue. Pretty girl like this all by herself, huh? I could use you. Get some cash flow. Hey, she won't be pretty for too long. Touch me and I'll tear your throat out. Huh. And I thought this was gonna be a boring visit. Tanya, baby, give her a makeover. Is it life short enough? Hey, Lee, relax. Relax. Let's go. Let's finish it. No, 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 no. We take care of this place first. Kill Jamie Coy. So this 
this crazy girl, she just starts threatening me. She comes up to me, and then her friends come completely out of nowhere. I was petrified. Well, you hit it pretty well. Shaking in my boots. That is, of course, until my hero came along and swept me from harm's way. I'm not a hero. So then what are you? Hello, I'm Vincent. Hi, Vincent. Um, what are your specials? Well, today, swordfish is the catch of the day, but we've also got a bow tie pasta in Alfredo. You, you know what, Vincent? Swordfish sounds great. We'll have two of those. Okay, I'll just leave you the wine menu. <gasps> mm. This is a nice place. Must be the company. You mean Vincent? But of course. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Believe me, I just... I, I'm surprised that I'm actually out of the house. Normally, I would be at home, bored and lonely. I find that hard to believe. So, tell me about you. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something you can tell me. Do you live alone? Uh, with my mom. How about your dad? Uh, he died when I was little. I'm very sorry. It's okay. You know, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just not the kind of person who talks. You don't seem to have any problem talking when it comes to standing up for your friends. And I hope you consider me a friend. I guess, uh... I could sure use one. Anytime. Okay, here you are, lovebirds. I've been waiting tables for 14 years. I know when two people are in the lovebird category. Just be sure to invite me to the wedding. Here we are. Thanks. See ya. Jimmy, I had a great time today. Can I show you something? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was my dad's. Was he a stock car driver? No, uh, musician, poet, typical starving artist. But his hobby was cars, so we used to work on it together. It's the only thing I have besides a guitar and some stuff he wrote my mom. I uh, wish I would have had more time to learn from him. Well, I bet this thing really flew. Yeah. I tell you what, when you get her back on the road, can I have the uh, inaugural trip? Yeah, you got it. That'd be nice. Whoa, so he was a poet and a fighter? Actually, that's mine. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, better to hit that. Where'd you learn to do that? I've been taking some self-defense classes. Not always the best at standing up for myself. No, it's, it's great. Right. I was supposed to pick up Christine at the rink. I'm so sorry. Okay, no, it's fine. I'll no, I was having such a great time, I completely forgot. I left my car keys up there. I'll be right back. Oh. All right, you can do it. You can do it. Stay calm. Ask her out in a cool voice.
Cassandra, will you go out with me again? Cassandra, will you go out with me again? Thought you were never gonna ask. There's a banquet tomorrow night, okay? Dress up. Yeah, no problem. What about plastic? Plastic? Are you nuts? That stuff's way too strong. It'll blow half this building. How the hell are we gonna make that look like an accident? It doesn't matter. By the time we have our money, we're gonna be long gone. Let Hallam take the fall. Cool. Baby, relax. I know how to handle these rich pricks. We're gonna come out of this smelling of roses. Hotel, there's rules. Leave her alone. Cassie, go, go to bed. Don't you ever touch her again. I'm warning you. Watch your mouth, woman. Your kids can still bring in some good porn money. Do you think there's room on the road for me with ice festivals? So, how was your date, man? I saw Russ at the arena. I think Hallam hired him. Hey, you think you're the only game in town? We have to stop him, Derek. Forget it, Coy. No way. Derek, we have to. Look, I can understand you not wanting to kill, but now it's about getting laid? Look, if I know Hallam, he's got a contract out on us anyway. This woman's trouble, man. You're just an experiment for her. Derek, are you backing up because I decided to have a conscience? I just want you thinking straight. Wake up, man. I am thinking straight for the first time in my life. Look, God made two kinds of people. Us and the victims. Hey, that's just the way it is. No, man, I don't believe that. And Cassandra, she has nothing to do with this. She's just a bonus. Oh, a bonus for you. What about Remo? What about me? Look, our options begin at midnight and end when a bullet finds us. I have to put Hallam down, but I cannot do it by myself, Derek. You're strutting around in the twilight zone. Sorry, man. I'm out of here. here for Cassandra. She'll be down in a minute, Mr. Corey. Oh, please call me Jimmy. Mr. Diaz would like to have a word with you, Jimmy. Leon Diaz, Cassandra's provider. Jimmy Coy, nice to meet you, sir. Coy? I'm a straightforward man, Coy, so don't play games with me. I got some questions and some suggestions you're gonna listen to. Cassandra, is she giving you sex? Oh, whoa, man, ease up. What's your problem? 
If you think you can get into my bank account by boning the princess, you're dreaming. I'm out of here. Don't you walk away on me, you two-bit punk. Buddy, if I walk towards you, I will destroy you. And another thing, I don't give a shit about your money. And if you ever trash talk Cassandra again, I will bury you. Oh. From one punk to another. Asshole. Jimmy. Hi. Hi. Are those for me? Well, they were, but, uh... If I gave them to you looking as beautiful as you are, they'd die of jealousy. <laughs> Tell me my mom. Get me Helen. Sir, I couldn't. Please. Thank you. You're welcome. Who is this handsome young man? Mom, I'd like you to meet Jimmy Coy. Welcome to our home, James. How are you feeling? I'll be fine, thank you. I forgot my purse. I'll be right back. Well, it's nice meeting you. You too. My daughter has told me an awful lot about you. She told me what you did in the hospital. Cassandra means the world to me. And you will treat her properly. On my honor. Sometimes a man's honor leaves a little bit to be desired. I'll do my best. Stella, you in there? I honor the daughter. I honor the mother, too. I'll be fine, James. OK, ready? Yeah, I just wanted to use the washroom first. Oh, uh, it down the hall and to the left? I agree. Isn't he great? There's a lot of rage in that young man. I could use one. Sure, um, glass of red wine? You got it. Okay. Excuse me. Two glasses of wine, please. Sure. You know that man over there? Yeah, that's Arthur Hallam. He owns the club. Why is he talking to Leon? He's his business manager. Business manager? He does all the paperwork, expenses, taxes, all that boring crap. This has got to be a nightmare. There you go. Thank you. So what should we toast to? How about to answer prayers? If you're praying for someone like me, your expectations are pretty low. Why would you say something like that? Threw your mother down the stairs, didn't he? Well, hello there. Mr. Hallam, hi. How are you tonight? Very well. Arthur Hallam, I own the club. Jimmy Coy. Pleasure. Have we met before? Excuse me, I just saw my sister. I'll be right back. I take it she's the reason you changed your mind. You know, I don't think you've really planned this through yet. Sit still, boy. You thought it was funny to insult me. To turn me down, make a fool out of me. Well, if I were you, 
I would stick my wick in that little honey tonight. Go out with a bang. Cassandra, my love. Be sure to hang on to this young man. Be sure he'll change your life. Well, the girl can hope. Come talk to my sister. Are you available tomorrow night about 10 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I wanted to take you to someplace really special to me. Okay. Um, I'll pick you up around 9.30. That'd be okay? That'd be great. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go. What's up, Jimmy? Have you seen Remo? No. We're supposed to torch Monroe gas station tonight. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Yeah, and we've already been paid. Remo never fails on a contract. So let him go. Your hands are clean. Nah, even if he does the job, my name's still attached to it. We'll take my car. Let's go. Remo! Jeez, oh, come on, guys. You're late. This ain't going down, man. He's not going down. We took the job, we do the job. No, not this one. Not really. This is... So this is it. We're still friends, Remo. That'll never change. No, it's already changed. We're on different pages now. Bullshit, man. You want to go to legit just as much as hey, I do. You're not listening to me. Listen to me. You got no future, Coy. You're dead. You're dead like your old man. I would love to finish this, but not now. Oh, shit! Come on! McCabe coming to you live from the Monroe gas station, where a suspicious explosion has ripped apart a local neighborhood business. Jimmy. Tell me you didn't have anything to do with this. Oh, do you come to this place a lot? Jimmy. Oh, sorry. Uh, I used to have a band. This is the only place that let me play. Well, why would no one else let you play? I'm not exactly the honor level type of guy, Cassandra. I don't care what you've done. Are you sure? Absolutely. Listen, I'll be right back, okay? Here we go. Okay. Good luck. Okay. 
We got a request for a song to be performed right here live. The song is written by Jimmy for Cassandra. Tell her to stand up. Um, I'm not very good at the guitar, so I hope you guys go easy on me. And uh, I don't know what my dad would think, but if he's listening tonight, I, I uh, hope he lends me his voice. This is for Cassandra. Let's see your ass. Hey guys, why don't you just chill out, all right? I'm trying to sing a song, you mind? I don't understand what your problem is, huh? Huh? Jimmy, uh, uh, he sings and juice trick. Huh? Don't. Oh, <laughs> See in the room? Yep. Get everything ready? Of course. Meet our newest member. I don't want you to be a part of the life I It always finds me, Cassandra. No matter how hard I try and fly straight, this shit always finds me. The life you lead. How about the life I lead? I spent years watching my mother get treated like dirt by a man who doesn't deserve her, while she and Christina and myself make up excuses for bruises. And we'll try and figure out reasons why we got them. Tell you what, you save me from my life, and I'll save you from yours. Listen, uh, I didn't get a chance to sing you that song that night, so we can make it a poem. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Nice wiring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, wiring. 
switch those. Your uh, timer? Would have counted up. <laughs> you think that's funny? Yeah. Break it up, you guys. You're acting like a couple of bitches. No offense. I'm taken. I'm dying to use this. Don't tempt me. That, uh, that's a dangerous end. Guys. <laughs> Hey, tell me something. How does this thing detonate again? When the crowd fills the arena, the ice levels go up. The Freon device will activate to keep the ice levels cool. So that's that detonator? That's it. What time is this happening? Tonight. Uh-huh. At the gala. Hello, your VIPs. Mr. Corradetti. So happy you made it. Mrs. Corradetti, you look very lovely tonight. Please. One of the finest seats in the house for you, sir. Thanks, sir. Right yeah, I'm expecting a good show. Oh, I plan uh, lots of surprises. Hi. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. You can calm me down. I thought this was the competition tonight. No, it's the opening night gala. The competition starts tomorrow. Jimmy, what do I should? Derek, thanks for coming. Hi. Um, it's general admission, but I would snag those two seats there. I'll see you in a minute. I have got such a surprise for you. What is it? <laughs> it's not a surprise if I tell you. Hey, um, I want to go talk to Derek for a second. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, um, but don't take too long, because it might start right away. All right. Okay. What's up? Recognize that guy? Could be a coincidence. Yeah, now might be the Prince of India. Opening our gala tonight is one of our premier skaters, Miss Christina Diaz. <laughs> Christina <laughs> is going to perform a routine to an original song being sung live. Please direct your attention to the stage. You were born to skate, sis. Just remember to keep the artistry on the ice. And not on my butt. You got it. <laughs> I just saw Russ and his lackeys went through there. We gotta stop him. Listen, man, anything goes, whatever you say. I'm in. Let's go. Tonight, my daughter will be skating to a song that was written by Mr. James Coy. <sighs> okay, um, I'll be back in a minute. I promise I'll be here in time. But, okay. um, have a great skate. Okay, okay. thanks. <laughs> My other daughter, Cassandra, has choreographed the program for this evening. Okay, here's how we play this. All right, here's your gun. I didn't think I was gonna need this tonight. Are you packing? What's the plan? There's gotta be a main room around here somewhere that controls the heating right. and the cooling system. It's the best place to set up any kind of device. I got it. Find that room. Christina would like to dedicate tonight's performance to her sister, Cassandra, for all her love and support.
Are you okay? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. Looking good. This is pretty low, even for you, Russ. Do you have any idea how many people you're gonna kill? You're using way too much of this shit. Entire building's gonna blow. Come on, move it. Come on! Nice to know we're getting our money's worth. Now that was pretty stupid, Jimmy. Never mind that. Is everything set to go? Pretty much. Oh, but wait. Maybe we should bring someone in to check it out, just in case. Mystery guest! Will you come over here and sign in, please? Jimmy. Shoot him, Rima. What about the body? There's gonna be bodies everywhere. Rima. Think about this, man. There are hundreds of people up there. How is not gonna let you live? You think I care? Oh, you're gonna die. Jimmy, I heard. You little. Jimmy.
Princess. I'd like to take you up on that throat ripping off you made me, bitch. Hold on. Don't. 
Primo, don't, don't help me. more proud. Come on! It's gonna explode! 